Hey, hey, how you guys doing today? Hi, everybody. It's the Ungodly Geeks. Hooray. Applause and all that good shit. I'm please, Joe. Please, please. Please clap. I'm Luke. Oh, my God, yeah. We should sit there <laughs> at the beginning of every um, every episode. We should do the whole Jeb Bush, please clap. Yep. You know, because if it's not the most pathetic thing we could do, you know, like. Clap. Oh. Clap. <laughs> He's sitting there. He gets the end of his speech. And it's silent for like two seconds. Please clap. Um, so. God, dude. Yeah. Um, news of the stupid. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh yeah, we got a couple things. Um, I'm gonna start with one that's like halfway between stupid and halfway between actual good news. There is a uh, insurance firm in Sweden who like, uh, yearly I guess compiles a list of the world safe of like the safest cars that they sell in the in the country. Mm -hmm. um tesla is missing this insurance firm safest car list because the cars do not crash often enough <laughs> and it's just like why so they're missing data basically basically yeah like they because they can't compile enough data on the crashes of tesla vehicles they're not going to sit there and say it's a say they're not going to put it on the safest car list yeah um now <clears throat> i'm going to give it a few like like apparently this list is for those consumers who are looking to buy used cars. Oh, okay. So, all right. I guess Probably that. not a lot of used Teslas on the road. Uh, well, but, I mean, second second owner Teslas on the road. Right. Well, here's the thing that kills me. Pardon me. I had a lot of Chinese food. Um, we saw seven accidents with Tesla in this year's material, and that is far too little. They have very many safety systems and high security, which means they never they may never be included in our list of the cars. Number of accidents is too small, which was translated from Swedish to English using Google Translate. So it's like it's kind of hilarious to me that it is on their recommended new cars, but it may never be on their recommend their safest list of your used cars because they don't crash enough it's like but shouldn't that be why you're putting that on there like it should be number one right yeah because i'm never gonna crash in it or if i do there's like a <clears throat> seven cars in a year how many cars are on the road in sweden and it's like that's that's nothing yeah percentage is probably less than one so i don't know do they take analytics from anywhere other than um sweden that i don't know okay. um there's like there doesn't seem to be any actual uh any actual like indication of that so i can't say if it's only from sweden or from the world over yeah what i can tell you is that apparently the list this year was donate dominated by the toyota rav4 so take from that what you will toyotas yeah. are notoriously reliable like uh so, my buddy j mac drives a rav4 um i might be wrong i don't remember but yeah you know that's that's kind of neat um that's not bad yeah. i mean I <laughs> We've said before, I want a Tesla. I do. If I could uh, ever, like, you know, be that wealthy, I'd buy a Tesla. I mean, I've, I've sat down. I'd want a Tesla in another car. I've sat down and I've calculated it out. And if I didn't like Chinese food and stupid trinkets so much, I could afford the payments on a Model 3. Hmm. It's just, you know, I, I like food. And yeah. And not, when I say that I like food, I'm not going to be implying that if I bought a Tesla, I would be starving. I just wouldn't be able to order a hundred dollars worth of Chinese food a week. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't have any extra play money, right? I would just uh, not for like I said, ordering a hundred dollars worth of Chinese food a week. Yeah. Um, but we're going to move on to another uh, stupid you know, news story, which comes to us from the UK, where a man in Southeast London accidentally shot himself while trying to kill somebody else. Basically, the story was this guy mad at a neighbor or whatever. He came to shoot someone else and ended up shooting himself. The way it happened was he fired the gun, the bullet bounced off a car window and hit him instead. He must... It's like, how? What angle have were had, you at? He must have been using something like really low power. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I'm trying to figure out what kind of gun he was able to get. Uh, well, it, it, we probably had it illegally. In England, because they're they have very strict gun laws. Right. I mean, not but, even the police carry guns. Yeah. So it's like like they do have response teams for that things who do have guns, but yeah, like not even the police typically carry guns. 
You're not even really allowed to have a knife, from what I understand. Or if you are, it oh, has yeah, to be Oh, yeah, they under... even restrict knives. Yeah. It's, that's a, a, kind of a fucking meme. <laughs> um, but, yeah, but yeah, no, I don't I don't know. That's just fucking... <clears throat> <laughs> I wish... Because I, I can't do a British accent, but I really want to hear what the fuck they were saying after this jackass shot himself. Oi! <laughs> Boy, I shot myself! <laughs> Yeah, but apparently the guy died, which is kind of tragic. Oh, um, have, I gotta. I mean, to get that, he was in his twenties. Bounce off a of, what the fuck? Yeah, um, was he using some kind of like goddamn video game blitz? It's insane though. Like, like my, you know what? Hit him right in the head. Forget even like, forget all of that. I have to know. What angle was he at that it ricocheting off a car window it was able to hit him, right? Yeah. Because all things that bounce off a thing follow the similar, similar laws of physics and that they're going to bounce off at the same angle they hit. Yeah. So, like, did he shoot dead on and somehow it bounced straight back at him? That's, yeah, even in dead on, I mean, and that's the not fact how... that it didn't go through, it must have, like, hit an artery or hit him in the fucking eye or yeah. something. Um, they're not, they, they don't say I'm in sure this new have... story, like, yeah. how, where he got hit or anything. That is crazy. But, I mean, uh, that is some fuck. That is the world telling you, you fuck you. Yeah. You that is the no longer get saying, to exist. That's the universe saying, you know what? You don't need to be here anymore. Exactly. Um, You're done. You are useless to everyone and everything. We're going to just <laughs> eradicate you. Um, it's kind of insane, though. Like, like <laughs> You've rolled a one three times in a row. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Instant death. But, yeah, there's no... Um, after it happened, the boy he came to shoot stood there filming him. <laughs> so it's like just fucking like that, shit icing on the shit cake. Um, oh, bruv, that's what you get. That's what you get, bruv. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but yeah, um, the only other shit. witnesses were two men who were in a nearby hub pub who heard the shot but thought it was a car backfiring because there was nothing going on. Yeah, it's a quiet little neighborhood. It happened in Sydenham, um, which is I mean it's just a quiet area. That's, oh, that's fucking weird, man. Like, apparently the worst thing that happens in this little town is... Um, it's probably fights at the pub. A few idiots driving up and down the street too fast. That's the worst that happens in this, and all of a sudden, there's a guy who shoots himself by ricocheting a bullet off a car window and killing himself. It's like, yeah. How? That is so dumb. Oh, yeah. Almost as dumb as this guy. Oh, yeah. Um, The front... Well, no. Yeah, let's go to that. Um, same vein. Same vein. Guy out in Nor- North Yorkshire. So it's once again, our, our I neighbors love it across when the these pond. aren't in the United States. Yeah, it makes you feel better, doesn't it? Makes me. It's, because it's like, like ah, they're just that we. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Right. If there's any country that the United <clears throat> States is that does that's just right there with us. All it's, right. It's fucking the UK. So a 22 year old man, once again in the UK, stabs himself to death while testing to see if his vest was stab proof. Bet he proved that it's not. It's like <laughs> some guy named Jordan Easton was sitting in the kitchen of a friend's house when he decided to test the life saving properties of his top on August 23rd last year. So oh, this bro. happened last year. But... I bet I could take a knife with this. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Give me a couple. <laughs> like, okay. What was going through this young man's head that he decided that the vest he had on was not only stab proof, but he was going to try to demonstrate it while he was wearing it? I bet he ordered it from like fucking wish.com or some shit. Mallninja.com. Like yeah, something probably like ordered, that. Probably ordered it out of the Bud K knife catalog. The Bud K catalog. Oh, God. You know, like, like, what is wrong with you, dude? I can only imagine. Like, come on, man. Like, like, what would, like, you know Put it on a fucking turkey. Put it on like a, a something Anything else. else. A pillow. Something. Why <laughs> on yourself? You know, like I don't. I don't get that. Uh, so basically, he, uh, he <laughs> while in the kitchen, he took a knife to demonstrate it was stab proof, and sadly realized it wasn't the case. Which was the assistant coroner uh, gave that statement, and it's. it's oh I'd rather God. if uh, unless like like especially depending on response time, I'd rather be shot than stabbed. Yeah. Because you can easier stem blood loss from a bullet wound than you can a stab wound. Yeah. Stab wound, you're like, you're, the, the, you're, de- you're probably going to bleed to death, period. 
Uh, especially because it sounds like if he was in his kitchen, he probably took the biggest fucking kitchen knife he had oh, and yeah. went, this is stab proof. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, it's not. <laughs> uh, just it's just one of those why? things. Why? Yeah, exactly. How many alternatives to yourself could I... Pillow, Damn. turkey, uh, ham, anything in the refrigerator, a gallon of milk. Um, this, 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 this goes and links into all these other things when people want to do things like, oh, I'm going to shoot an apple off my friend's head with this bow yeah or let's see if this uh we're gonna stop a bullet with this dictionary hold on let me hold it in front of my chest while you shoot it and it's a a fucking fucking desert desert eagle eagle. like this this shit people your first test needs to not be on you put it in front of something else for those who don't know a desert eagle can kill a building (laughs) like seriously you can oh fire a desert eagle at your fridge, and it's going to go through your neighbor's fridge and his neighbor's fridge as well. What is wrong with you people? Uh, a desert eagle will go through an engine block. Yes. It is. It's a fifty caliber pistol. It is <clears throat> fucking huge. Yeah, it, it, it will it go alone, through a goddamn dictionary. It alone weighs 10 to 15 pounds. Like, it's it's, it's a very heavy pistol. It, it is a heavy-ass pistol. Yeah. Uh, but either way, it's that's just insane. It weighs I mean, two every... bags of Chinese food. What is wrong with you? <laughs> two bags of Chinese food. It's I okay. So I like all right. So I've ordered Chinese food a lot over the last couple of days. Yeah. I propose we start measuring things by how heavy my bags of Chinese food are. <laughs> this is about four bags of Chinese food. Here. Like, dude, I swear to you, I like I got my bag today. Yeah. And I set it on my food scale out there, mm-hmm. and he said, "I don't know how to weigh, like, weigh this. <laughs> it's too heavy. Fuck off." <laughs> yeah. Like so. All right. So we got one more. News is stupid because we've gone off about some things. A French company is apparently liable after an employee dies during sex on a business trip. (laughs) Basically, um, the gist of this after I uh, read through it is a guy's on a business trip for some company in Paris. Yeah. And uh, it might not have been Paris. It was just a Paris court. But anyway, Uh. um, a guy sat there and for a railway company, he was on a a business trip for them. Mm Mm-hmm solicited the services of a hooker in whatever city he was in. It doesn't actually... Uh... Okay, no, Central France. So it doesn't say what city he was in. Uh-huh. Um, but basically, he was cheating on his wife with a hooker and died of a heart attack. Oh, dear God. And six years later, mm. a Paris court has ruled that his death was an industrial accident and the family was entitled to compensation. <laughs> Let me repeat that. A Paris court ruled that a guy... Fucking a hooker and cheating on his wife while on a business trip was the fault of the company, i.e. an industrial accident, and now the company owes the family money or some other similar form of compensation. Now, I, uh, extra money, not or not like his Not like his normal insurance. Right, or... yeah. Like, like if you or I went on a trip for work and we like got hurt or died... You know how we have that life yeah. insurance that gets paid out by the company. No, 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 nothing you get like that, that. Anyway, you get that either way. This means they are entitled to extra compensation. The only thing I can think of then <clears throat> is that, like, I mean, other than maybe Paris French courts are just really, really generous, and they're like, "Hey, you, we need to take care of people, not comp- corporations, and want to make sure the people are covered," or the business, quote unquote, business trip. Was go have fun, <laughs> do right, what you want to like do. Like a company sponsored vacation. Yeah, because prostitution's legal and regulated in France. So if it is something where it was a like, like a pleasurable right, vacation, yeah, no, I guess, I see, guess I could kind of see how that's technically work related. But otherwise, okay, I that's wanna, just fucking crazy. I want to retract statement. Oh. There is no evidence that the guest that he engaged with uh, relations with was a hooker. So I take oh, that okay. back. It could have just been another guest. It could have been something he was he, someone yeah. he knew who was, he was fucking on the side. Either way, he cheated on his wife yeah. and died, died during the sex. And now his wife is collecting, like, and now think, rather the company is being forced to pay for his death. So I think what the family's argument is, is it doesn't matter if he died while having sex. They're just throwing that in the No, article. no. Apparently, like, the company's not even ruling this. The company is fighting the health, state health insurance provider. 
Because the state health insurance provider has ruled it as a workplace accident in the company. That's what I'm saying. No. He was on a work. He was yeah, so on it had nothing a, to do with the family, like the wife or nothing. They're not, yeah, not yeah, involved yeah, in this. Yeah. This is a company versus state thing. That's fine. Yeah. But either way, I'm guessing what their, their argument is, it doesn't matter when he died. He was on a company right. trip, meaning the entire time he's there, he's on the company's hours. So, so he, therefore, yeah. it's a workplace accident. Here's the thing that that's I crazy. Think, like the company that's got to be what it is. Then the company challenged the decision by the state health insurance provider to regard the death as a workplace accident. Yeah. And French and their stereotypical French uh, ways, uh -huh. the provider defended this position by insisting that sexual activity was normal, like taking a shower or having a meal. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. He was on a business uh -huh. trip. Yep. Therefore, it doesn't matter what he was doing. That's normal. It should count. If he had had the heart attack when he was, you know, doing whatever he was on the business trip to do, or if he had the heart attack in his sleep, or... An employee on a business trip is entitled to social protection over the whole time of his mission, yep. regardless of the circumstances. I said. So, thank you, Paris Court. That's great. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Okay. So, it wasn't quite what I thought it was at No, first. no, but it's kind of hilarious the way it just... It just I rolls up to that yeah <laughs> jesus <laughs> i can see why the company was trying to fight against it <laughs> yeah no i mean they don't want to pay oh man that's funny <clears throat> i wouldn't want to pay either you know like oh yeah i get to <laughs> i get to pay for my the chick out of fucking he's supposed to be working I get, to, I get to pay for my employee wet. cheating on his wife yeah, yeah. that's amazing I so i, I kind of relate to that you know but at mm -hmm. the same time it's like well, you sent him on the trip. That's weird. What he does though, in his downtime is his business. It's weird, though, that the insurance <laughs> is fighting that it's a workplace accident. Don't they have the insurance to pay for workplace accidents? I'm not going to sit I don't there. understand how that works. I, 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 thought, I don't know the the specifics of all that. Yeah. What I thought I know they is, would be the ones with the insurance, so they would have to argue with the insurance. Either way, whatever. But, yeah, that's interesting. Did I ever tell you? I don't know why, but I just thought, I thought like, this just came to mind. Uh-huh. Um, about a month ago, I got an email. I'm um, in my spam box because occasionally I check my spam box on Gmail just to see what kind of goofy shits in there. Yeah, and I got an email saying, "Hey, send us two hundred dollars in Bitcoin, or we're gonna take over your computer." And they revealed part of one of my old passwords that I haven't used in probably twenty years. Yeah, and when I say twenty years, I really mean ten. Yeah. Um, like, here's part of your password just to prove that I have your shit. Okay. <laughs> and then I waited. Mm -hmm. And nothing happened. Of course not. Yeah, so. I, I just, I don't know why. I guess because I'm looking at my emails right now uh, to get rid of some of the, because I, I, my Gmail just builds up with shit. Yeah. Which is why I stopped using it as much. And the only thing I use it for are like my DoorDash confirmations and stuff like that. Did I mention, I think <clears throat> I told you about it. What? Is there something going on in my living room? I just hear noise. It's probably your, you hear that? Yeah. Oh, well. I wonder if it's somebody sweeping out in the hallway. Oh, I guess it could be. I mean, my door is still not, not open, right? No, it's no, closed. No, no, it's I the door. This is fucking weird. We're, all, we're about to die, guys. Don't yeah, worry. It's all good. Um, we're about to get killed by, like, Jason or something. That sh 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 <laughs> yeah. Did know. I tell you about the uh, email I got? That yeah, it is Friday the 13th. Ooh. I was invited to um, join the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saved the email. Wow! With, but it was in it was in really broken ass English. But they were inviting me to join the Illuminati. How much were how much money were they asking you to do? You know, uh, I don't in, think invest. they had gotten to the money yet. But uh, I'm sure that that's where it was going to go. But they wanted me to uh, respond and uh, sign up with them or something like that. Uh, it was great. I I got that and was like, you know. As far as scam emails have gone, I think this is my favorite one I've ever gotten. I really want to... I, I never responded to it, and I still kind of regret that, because it was legitimately pretty goddamn funny. Oh, uh... Much better than most. I get a bunch all the time that are like, uh, insert some Russian-sounding name here. Right, and right. And then just the worst fucking broken English... Of, hi, I'm single, we talked, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I don't use social media very much at all, so I know we didn't. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I, uh, all right, so I deleted my Facebook account last year. Yeah. And every now and then I'll get those spam emails. Like, hey, someone logged into your Facebook account. I'm like, <laughs> no, they didn't. I love that. Um, because it doesn't exist. Oh, that's good. Yeah, no, I love those. Uh, or like, okay, here's a weird thing. Mm-hmm. So I have a SoundCloud account. 
and I don't use it. Oh yeah, you, I saw your tweet about this. Um, the day. But yeah, I have a SoundCloud account, and I don't I don't use it. Like every now and then, I will log into it to listen to like French music and stuff because I have friends who make music, like legitimate yeah. music, and a lot of it's really good. And so I'll I'll sit there and just like pull up a playlist and just let it go. Mm-hmm. And about what was this Tuesday night and no, a Wednesday morning, I think. Some somewhere along those lines, I was up late. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck I was doing. I just know I was up late, hmm. and I kept getting emails. Hey Joe, someone someone uh, requested to reset your password. Okay. Yeah. Someone reset, and I got like ten of these fucking things in a row, from like two to three thirty. I'm like, why? That's what. What, what, what could they, fucking possibly be in my they're... SoundCloud account that you want? Why do you want my SoundCloud account so badly? I don't That's have so music weird that they thought they were gonna get it by requesting the password. Yeah, let me let me see here. Let me uh, because this is one of those things that's still tied to my Gmail account because it's it's I, I don't care about it. Yeah. Um, let let's see here. Uh, you know, just do a search for SoundCloud. I had my um, um yeah. So this happened on the 11th, so just two days ago because we were recording on the 13th, and I've got nine emails Jesus starting Christ. at two twenty nine in the morning on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And stopping at three thirty one or three twenty one in the morning that same day, where hey Joe Gasson, we received a request to change your password on SoundCloud. Click here to change your password. If you didn't request a password change, you can ignore this message and continue to use your current password. Someone probably typed in your email address by accident. And the first time, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, maybe. Yeah. The next eight times, no. What's your Gmail? Is it um, Jay Gaston or is it? Uh... No, no, I don't use that one. Okay. No. So it's it like, is your normal email. It's not. It's not yeah. like just your name. Because I get like my grandmother's yeah, fucking Yahoo. She'll get sometimes because I link her to my email account so that I can fucking fix her shit when she fucks it up. Right. Um. I, sometimes yeah, I, I hear requests and I'm like, this is some other old ass person with the same name as my grandmother who's typed in the an email address that's similar. And I've gotten that once or twice. Yeah. Um. And it, so that I kind of understand, but like like my email address, nobody's using that. Right. Yeah. You know those names. Yeah. See, like in my, pro, my see, I have like a couple email addresses, and I don't want obviously I don't want to reveal them no. on on air. But yeah, no, it's like, um, <clears throat> fuck. I, I think mine's already linked to everything else. But no. Right. Man, I I don't know. I've not posted anything anywhere. But uh, yeah, it's like like my gmail address no one's gonna have that username yeah you know like like that's that's one of those things that is unique to me um my proton mail address isn't so unique but it's like yeah like no one's gonna be typing in my email address thinking it's theirs yeah somebody was actively trying to get into which it. is like why are you why what do you, what do you like I've unless had... you have access to the email account that's tied to the soundcloud account mm-hmm. why would you continue to the request that's what a password I'm saying. reset that's what's weird like, what do you think unless you're doing? they somebody just likes trolling random soundclouds by hitting <laughs> doing you finding an email address and just hitting that over and over again just to fuck with people i mean maybe it's Which, kind of funny i mean the i'm gonna say might i'm sorry you out. failed the average person like somebody who doesn't you know, know anything about right? It, like my grandmother, if she got those emails, she would flip the absolute fuck out. Right? Yeah, of course. Whereas I'm just looking at it like, yeah. why? And I, I think I received like four of them before I realized, oh, someone's actually trying to get in, and then I just, I don't care. I've had two two accounts compromised. Uh, actually, no, my email got compromised one time. That was the only one that ever mattered. Right. But um, somebody just sent spam emails from my account, so I changed the password, and it was fine after that. But um, I had my Minecraft account taken because I had I had no idea, uh, and I hadn't used it for years. And right. then when Mojang, like whatever they switched to the new website where you had to link your Minecraft account, mm. I never did that. I just ignored it because I hadn't played, like I said, hadn't played Minecraft in years. Right, yeah, it doesn't care. matter. All of a sudden, I got an email that it was linked, and then uh, I got a, uh, I think they, with the lack of security, they changed my email for everything and changed the password. Oh. So I can't get back into the account. But I was like, when that happened, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I didn't really care that much. Now, I kind of want to play Minecraft, so I'm a little pissed. <clears throat> um, for me... I connected my account, converted it over, mm-hmm. 
and I have no idea what email address I used, what my username was, or yeah. what my password is. Even oh, actually, I know what my username was, but I have no idea what the other two are. So I don't, I can't like yeah. recover anything. I don't know what any of my security questions are. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, the only thing I had uh, was the email address, and like I even uh, like I was like, well, I wonder if I can get it back. Um, the recommended was like I would have to have the um, um, receipt or something like that. Right. Which... That or was it my account was so old? I don't remember. I'd have to have something like that to prove oh it my God, because the account dude. was that old. Because I had Minecraft way. Yeah, way, no, I had way Minecraft back. before. It, uh, it, I had it was like still in alpha. beta, so I'm like, yeah, alpha or beta. I, yeah. I I paid like 14 bucks for it, so whatever stage that was. I paid under 10. So I'm sitting there thinking, like, when the fuck would I like? What email address would that be under? Yeah. Would that be under one of my old addresses that I don't use anymore, and I've probably wiped the emails from? Which is like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I you know was it, like... Now that I think about it, it could be in my porn account. Ha! <laughs> because I have an that old account, account. I have an old account that I stopped using and converted it to a porn account. There you go. So it might be in there. Yeah, that might be it. Anyway, we have things to talk about because, Luke, you, uh, yeah. you've you been playing Gears 5 lately. Gears 5 came out, and I have um, Game Pass, the Ultimate or whatever it's called for... Um, Xbox Live, Xbox One, PC, right, all that right, good shit. Right. Um, so Gears Five dropped, and I was like, "Yeah, I, I, I've been a fan of that series. Uh, I didn't like the last game very much at all, but one through three, I love the campaigns. Multiplayer's, you know, always been pretty fun. Um, so I was like, "Yeah, I give it a shot." And honestly, the game kind of surprised the hell out of me. The campaign is absolutely fucking awesome. It is fun as shit. It is, uh, it's like, I mean, it's Gears, the, 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 the general, um, mechanics and everything. Nothing's changed. It's right. Right. Yeah. You're big, McLarge, huge. You <clears throat> are run with gun, big shoot, e big, yeah. shoot big monster with gun and, and run and like get on hip high walls. So every section, every, every area you walk through, as soon as you start seeing that there's hip, fi- hip high walls, you're like, okay, we're going to be fighting things here. Uh-huh. Sure enough, enemies come in, so you immediately hit that wall for cover and start shooting. It's the simplest um, mechanics, simplest system, but God damn it, if it's not fun, and there even you go. over and over again, it's like, it, 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 you know, there's not, there's variation in the enemies, but there's not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot of difference in them, but they are relatively intelligent. Right. So right. you have like enemies, they, they will cover each other pretty well. There are enemies that'll run straight at you with shotguns. They like sometimes they'll surprise me in like being pretty thoughtful about flanking and things like that. But it's it's fun. It's just stupid gears of war fun. And I've been enjoying the hell out of it. And the story, that was my biggest problem with four. Other than the fact that it, it seemed, for some reason, it just it, it felt boring. Right. But the story in 5 is better. That's good. It continues that. It does a lot of things that, uh, like, flashback to some of the history of the world and, like, oh, um, all the uh, all the backstory that's involved. Right. I, don't know, I, 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 I like the game a lot. I, I haven't played any of the multiplayer yet, but I know in multiplayer, since I got the deluxe edition i guess is the best way to put it i got uh access to sarah connor and uh the terminator are skins oh wow <laughs> so there's fucking skins from uh the new terminator movie which is kind of i was like okay cool i fucking play as a terminator fuck yeah why not i mean i yeah i watched donkey's video on it to yeah, oh donkey's video is good and it's like so it's like seeing the Terminator skin is like, dude, that that alone makes me almost want to do this. And it looks cool. It does. It looks completely cool. Although I loved his, uh, I loved his part in the video where he's showing it. And it's just like dancing and singing yes. in place. It's like, what, what, what is going on here? What, what, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's just kind of step, step. Um, the game also looks really, really good, even right. on, on the Xbox One. Um, Gears of War has always been a good looking game. It's one of those games that puts on that that gritty filter, but even with that, the uh, environments are always super interesting. Right. Because it's a it's sort of an Earth like it's not our war, Earth, but it's sort of similar. Except right. imagine if like the United States and Russia were basically 
their own empires. Right. And all the other countries were either a part of one or the other. And the architecture is almost like um, Greek. Like if if the Roman kingdom, if the Roman Empire had continued and, and gone into like an advanced, tw- you know, beyond 22nd century. Right. Or tw- 22nd century. Uh, uh, whatever, like like the, the buildings have that kind of they're huge. They have like marble columns and everything, and then it's all been fucked over and destroyed in a lot of cases because it's post apocalyptic, right? Um, and the monsters are pretty like they're interesting looking. There's not I like I think I like some of the bigger monsters from the old game more. Um, in this game, it's not the locust. It's uh the hive or some shit like that is name but they're essentially the same thing they just are slight differences right but no i mean the game's fucking pretty to look at it's fun um i i haven't kind of wish i'd gotten to play some of the co-op i haven't tried it yet what's weird is i think with the old gears of war games it only had two player co-op right right. this one adds three player co-op except the third person has to play your little bot (laughs) Instead of playing a like physical character or one of the main characters, yeah, and the when playing in single player, you get different things to upgrade the bot. Uh, you can keep finding these things that upgrade it even more. Right, right. Um, it's got certain abilities that buff the players or the the humans. This bot um, almost sounds like the little bot that you get in Fantasy Star Online. Floats above your shoulder and yeah, gives you kind both, of. like it's, status status buffs and sometimes attacks and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. It's a little drone. It's got a fucking uh, taser, basically. I don't know why it doesn't have a gun, but it has a taser that can shock enemies. Uh, it can stun them and do different things. It can, you know, like I said, it buff the party, put throws up a shield. Um, but it's I love like I like I like collectibles in games, and going around constantly picking up those collectibles is fun as fuck, and upgrading the bot. Uh, and then this game did something that Gears hasn't ever done before. In that it's sort of almost Breath of the Wild esque open world. Ooh. So, uh, when you go, you play through the first like the first act. Yes. And it's standard Gears of War corridors. You go point to point. You you know you sent somewhere. You walk through a little bit and then shooty shooty and then you walk a little bit more and shooty shooty. Um, <laughs> in this game, once you finish that, you get on this skiff thing that like is a uh, wind I don't know what they're fucking called a wind sail a sail thing and uh, you sail around the environment and you go place to place so there are like even like you find random broken down vehicles get off and you can find items and stuff and, right right and right. Um, collectibles and then you go and you find like uh, side missions and things like that and it's like that's kind of cool that there's this open element to it. So you can actually play some of the missions uh, in whatever order you want. Um, right, right. Which is interesting because you'll have multiple jet. Okay, so it's like we need to get this fucking um, satellite working. Yeah. Well, you have to go here to get this piece. You have to go here to find the satellite. Oh, and you'll end up having to go here. And while they won't tell you about those other two places, you can just find those on the map and do that part. Right. Without any, you know, without having, because obviously there's no, other than the robot upgrading it, there's no like experience or anything like that. You're always, you know, fully equipped for anything. Right. You just pick up weapons on the ground and shit, um, and go. And it's, I mean, it's fun. It, one thing the Gears of War does that I love is that the feeling of that you are this giant fucking wall of muscle. And that you have these guns that, like, if you weren't a wall of muscle, would, like, break someone. Like, they're giant. Like, the fucking Lancer is a chainsaw <clears throat> gun. Right. Um, the enemy weapons are, you know, huge and bulky and heavy. And it's just, it has this sense of weight to it. Right. Which um, is kind of nice. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like any of those 80s action movies. And constantly in combat, the characters are throwing fucking catchphrases and shit. <laughs> And like, Are you talking like Deadpool mocking, style catchphrases? N- not quite Deadpool, but s- close. Where Deadpool's like <laughs> way more humorous, these guys are like, boom, got him! Like that, you know, that kind of like, uh, another one down. Like, right, right. they'll start counting their kills and stuff like that. I still only counts as one. Yeah, like, yeah. and then sometimes <laughs> be like, there's this one character that 
he's he's not in the second chapter or the second act for at all and then he comes back with another character but uh his he's like he's wearing sunglasses he's like this typical like jock pretty boy looking kind of person like right. like almost movie star-esque and he's a cocky bastard. He's got like an Australian accent, and he's constantly Crack talking. On he's like, "Oh, they're gonna mess up how pretty I am," and said like shit like that. But he's fucking hilarious. I love the character. Everyone thinks he's an asshole, right. and they don't fucking hide it. He's like, "Tell me the truth. Did you miss me?" And everyone's like, "No, uh, honestly, no, man, <laughs> no, not at all." He's like, "Ah, oh, no, you did." <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> it's fucking great, man. It's uh, I don't know. It's fun as hell. Like, uh, I definitely, any, especially anybody who's been a uh, fan of Gears should definitely pick this game up. It, it kind of where mm. Halo 5 went even worse from <clears throat> Halo 4, Gears 5, I think, to, for me at least, does the opposite. Right. And it kind of brings Gears of War back to, like, where, oh, yeah, this is, this is the series this I fucking fun. fell in love yeah. with. Yeah. This is great. I love this. I love this story. I love that they've done it right. Like, they didn't change the story or they didn't expand and add you know they added new enemies but it's still the same old enemies and i don't know it did it well right which is always kind of nice yeah yeah i mean especially with a sequel you know a a game like that where it just uh where like the game like you said with halo how it went that four to five like why please stop yeah yeah. you're beating a dead horse i I like that this one goes the opposite direction and that's been basically the general consensus from what i've seen Mm -hmm. like obviously i'm I'm not a fan of gears i never got into it so i'm not gonna down it yeah um yeah i didn't have an it was one of those things where like with halo i just didn't have the ability to play it when it was a big thing Mm -hmm. so i never never really got into it and um it, like that's been the consensus that I've seen though it's like everybody's like you know you, donkeys in his videos like, yeah this is actually like he he actually had fun with it yeah like you can tell he had fun with it and you can tell when he has fun versus when he doesn't so mm-hmm. it's like yeah you know this is this is cool um way one thing that I love about this series is they've always at, like you have your campaign mode they have multiplayer your standard death matches and different things like that right. and they also have horde mode um, which is pretty fucking awesome, uh, where you take four people and then you just fight waves of enemies. Oh, yeah. And, and I mean, it came out and then everybody had to do a horde mode after that. It was around that time, like Halo added a horde mode and like a bunch of other games. They had to have horde modes. It's like uh, it's when everybody fun. went and started doing the battle royale, except it's not as dumb. Yeah, yeah. Except instead of that being their whole concept in this case, it was. Uh, it was just an add on mode that was fun. Add on that, yeah. It made, you know, it made sense and it's fun in most cases. And Gears, Gears horde, horde mode's pretty fucking great. See, now you kind of make me want to start playing the game. Because, mm-hmm. um, you know, because you can play it on PC, right? Like, that's not yeah. one of the games that's... Like, if you get the Xbox Game Pass with the Windows thing included, like, you get... You can play it on both. Yep, yeah, it's on both. Okay. Um, and how much... That's like, what, 15 bucks a month or something like that? I think so, yeah. That's, I mean, that's, not, that's not bad for, like, what is... Hey, play all these games all you want, basically. Yeah, and especially... My thing with Game Pass is... Uh, not only is it just a ton of games where every once in a while I'll go and like like I, I was surprised as hell that Blair Witch right uh, which is brand new that it you know just dropped that game's on Game Pass um, I knew the Microsoft games were gonna they, they, they said our games are dropping on Game Pass like right, basically right. day one and in the case of Gears it came out a few days early which I didn't mention a negative part of this is when the game I got the game a few days early holy crap the glitches Oh yeah, they were kind of bad. I didn't. I someone I talked to that also has it that we work with. Uh, he encountered a lot more than I did, but I encountered really fucking frustrating checkpoint glitches, where my checkpoint, like the way the game, um, it's obviously like the online multiplayer is a big part of the campaign too. Right, right. So it kind of almost treats it like those AI players are character, like played by other people. And so when I died, um, they would kind of keep playing and then it would give me the option to go to the checkpoint. And when I was hitting that, it wasn't doing anything. Oh, it did not reload the checkpoint. So I ended up having to reload the last checkpoint, which just started me the fuck over in a chapter. Ooh. And then again, the next time I played, got farther, died again. 
and it wouldn't work at all. It wouldn't even bring up the checkpoints. The the you've died, reload a checkpoint, reload cha- the last checkpoint, or reload chapter. It didn't even bring that up. It would only bring up the pause menu. It was just going where the AI characters were fighting. <laughs> so I had to quit out, and then it fucking started me over again at the beginning of the chapter. I was fucking mad. But you know, it, it seems like, and the game did patch it yesterday. So the it wasn't quite a day one patch, but it was like really, really it was like day right. two patch. So I haven't encountered any of those glitches. Since I mean, I'll, then. I'll take a day two patch over like a day zero download. Yeah, that you know they've been waiting for. That's like the actual game. And I understand that. I just don't know why they wouldn't have included the patch with the you get the game early because you have Game Pass and you're special and run fifteen percent faster than everyone else. <laughs> multiplayer. You idiot. You won't get away. I, I have the game pass. I run 5% faster. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, it, uh, that that was that was something that was funny at, uh, when I got the game. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, the game has been awesome. Do you actually run faster when you've been? No. <laughs> okay, God. No, not that I've seen anywhere. <laughs> that would be... That would be hilarious and such a shitty buff. Well, like, it's, it's literally only the 5% faster. <laughs> yeah. So you, you, you run, like, six frames faster or yeah, something? Yeah, it just barely can make a difference. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Oh. I, always, I always like things, like, in multiplayer, um, you see people that have, like... Like, I remember Gears 1, 2, and 3, I believe, pre-order... One of the pre-order bonuses or one of the, like, collector's editions, um, you'd have a golden skin on your gun in multiplayer. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, when we were playing, we'd be like, oh, go kill that fucking asshole using his goddamn golden skin. <laughs> fuck him. So we'd target those people. So I can imagine, you know, oh, fuck, there's a Terminator. Go kill that. We'll kill him first. Fucking yeah. gang up on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Game Pass loose. Like, that's the way we could, used to do Couldn't afford the actual game. Has to fucking fuck Game, game Pass. pass. I, lo- I, I love it. Yeah. As far as Game Pass deal goes, 100%. I like Game Pass. Even when I'll go months where I won't touch it. Yeah. And I won't touch my fucking Xbox One. I'll come back to it, check Game Pass, and be like, oh, hey, yeah, that's that game I never played and kind of wanted to play, download. Uh, oh, or that one. And there's a lot of times where there's games where I will have talked about, like, yeah, I'm going to fucking eventually, I want to play that game. I'll pick yeah. it up or something. Yeah. Throw on Game Pass, new games this month or whatever, and yeah. hey, there's that fucking game I just talked about. But I'm not actually going to pay for it, but now I'll no, play. But now because... I can fucking play it, uh, not not technically for free, but like Netflix free. <laughs> yeah, net- free in the sense that you've paid your monthly due. Yeah. You don't have to pay extra to play it. Yeah, there's no there's no more. Besides like the electricity and whatever. Yeah, whatever are, yeah like, so yeah. That's, the, that's the thing. Like, I don't, like, I haven't been playing my PC enough. Yeah. So I don't know how good this will be. Like, I just started subbing to HBO again because I got tired of uh, yo-hoing certain shows that I watch yeah. every week. So I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll start paying for it again. Yeah. Because that way when I get home from wherever, you know, from work or whatever, it's already ready to go because by the time I get home, it's a little after midnight. I can start watching it right away. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, I've started doing that. So I don't know. Like, I need to stop spending $100 a week on Chinese food. Yep. Got to like, spend like 50 bucks on Chinese food. There you go. Um. Yeah, no, I I enjoy it. Like I wasn't gonna play Blair Witch. It, it, like it was interesting, and it was like, huh, maybe I'll check that out. Right. But I would not have ever gone and seeked it out. And now I'm like, fuck, I'm probably yeah, gonna try it. It's there. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. It's Friday the Thirteenth. <laughs> play it tonight. And fucking turn the lights off and scare get scared shitless or something like that. Yeah, you know, like Resident Evil games are great for that too. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, you know, especially if you've never played them before, which I yeah. still need to play Resident Evil Seven. Um. Uh, I would like to play Resident Evil 2 Remake. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to pay the money for them. I just hold out and wait for them to be on sale. Yeah. I mean, we're going to get to that point where uh, there's going to be another Steam sale. Oh, yeah. Eventually. It'll be soon. We'll, uh, we get like four I, they, major ones a year. I, I, either there'll be a fall Steam sale or wait for the uh, winter Steam sale. Yep. And I'm sure those will probably be on sale by then because <clears> I don't think they were during the summer. I don't remember. Yep. I don't know. I'm just not... Uh, I'm not. I'm not trying to buy any more Steam games. Like when the sales go on, unless it's something new that I want, I'm trying to be like, no, no, I'm, I'm good. I have everything I wanted to play, and I haven't played any of it. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, that's that's kind of how I feel about like the Switch. Because mm-hmm. I picked. I I've, I've got so many games on Switch. Um, more games on Switch than probably every console I've had before it combined. Jeez. Because like I was just like like. 
like I said, oh hey, that game's on Switch now. Yeah, I've never played it, but I wanted to. Yeah. I'm gonna buy it because you know right. it's that notoriety of having yeah. it on the go. So I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing with that stuff. Uh, so I kinda, like, I kind of wish the Switch had a refund policy, like mm-hmm. Steam, where I could play a game for like an hour and a half and decide whether I want it or not. Right. <laughs> But, you know, that's... I mean, I'm sure... I think... I I know I've read stories of people getting, like, one-time refunds. Yeah. Probably. I'm sure. But it's like... Eh, I mm-hmm. want... Uh, I know something that just came out that I want to try. Uh, and one thing that I've, I've started doing is just adding things to my uh, wish list. Yeah. So that I don't feel that, like, need to buy it as much. I feel like I've done something. I've, I've put it somewhere that I won't forget. Right. Even though I'm not, I don't look at my wish list ever. But uh, Astral Chain, like, uh, I've heard, you know, really, really good things about that game. Well, you know, I'm going to be the idiot that buys The Witcher 3 on the Switch. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, oh, man, Link's Awakening comes out next week. Yeah. Got to play. There's so many. The Switch the Switch is like, a, like we've said before, it almost is like consider a constant, like, small mm. amount, you know, just here's some more game. Here's some more pretty good games here's some more interesting things here's some more oh here's some indie games that you might want to try out yeah and it's like i mean i bought hollow knight on it i bought dead cells on it after i bought those games on pc and Mm -hmm. hollow knight i even completed on pc yeah at least up until the at least all the content that was released at the time which there's been two expansions since then Uh so it's like and then i've been playing hollow knight on the switch but like i haven't played it in a while uh, because I'm down in the hive and fighting that boss uh, is is difficult. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been getting my ass kicked, and I'm like, <laughs> nope, nah. I'm good. <laughs> nah, bruh. I feel that. Um, then of course, Dead Cells is kind of the same way. Dead Cells is a great fucking game. Mm-hmm. But I'm at a point now where it's like I can get far enough into the game that like, hey, I've made significant progress, and then I can die. I'm like, fuck, I died. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I oh my god, there's so many games I I get that way. Um, but, uh, they released the SNES games now on Switch. Have you yeah. played them? Um, nope. I pulled it up and then fucking fell asleep on my couch Did when I was looking at the menu. It? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I was trying to decide like, oh, what do I want to play first? And like Super I Metroid. I, I, I dove right into that fucking game, man. Mm-hmm. And, um, like I've been playing bits and pieces of it in between grinding and, uh, Fire Emblem. And, uh, cause you know, Fire Emblem just released an update, which added the maddening difficulty Mm -hmm. and some other things as well as fix some errors. And if you bought the expansion pass, you got some DLC for it too, like new costumes and stuff like that Mm -hmm. Uh, and new story quests. So now you get uh, auxiliary quests in the fight menu where you get double rewards. Oh, wow. Yeah. It uses an activity point, of course, but you get double oh, okay. rewards. So, yeah. Because yeah. I've, I've noticed, you know, you can oh just do auxiliary quests over and over again. <clears throat> the, the free ones. Yeah, you can do free ones over and over again. That's what I... <laughs> it goes from getting a piece of, like, uh, crafting to you get a piece of meat. <laughs> yeah, like, it's really random. Like, sometimes you'll get meat, sometimes you'll get ore, sometimes you'll get uh, fruit. Oh, that was like, funny. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I've, I've been playing, like, Super Metroid, I've already, like... I've gotten through, like, a third of the game in less than an hour. Nice. Because I still remember a lot of things from when I used to play the shit out of it on Super Nintendo. Um, and then later, obviously, emulators and stuff. Like, my PS Vita is hacked, which I'm going to buy a new battery for because I want to play Game Boy Advance games on it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it brings back a lot of nostalgia. So. Yeah, I'm probably going to get on there. I want to play the um, some of those side-scrolling scroll- beat-em-ups. Mm-hmm. Um, what is it? Um Brawl, Brawl, Brawl Brothers or something, or something yeah, like yeah. that. That one looked kind of fun. Uh, yeah, because that those games I I used to really really love like um, Streets of Rage and things like that. Mm-hmm. Those are some of my favorite old games that uh, I'll, I'll probably try that one out soon. Oh. Uh, I also I just gotta pl- fucking play some more Fire Emblem. Um, Smash Brothers came out with new DLC. Yeah, yeah. Um, fucking Banjo Kazooie and dropped uh, Hero. What the fuck's his name? Uh, Terry from. Uh, SNK, SNK Fighters game, Fatal Fury or whatever. Well, he hasn't released yet. No, he hasn't released it. They dropped Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Banjo Kazooie and uh, which we talked about that last year. Yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, those are just things I like. I tried them out, and the characters are fun. Um, Banjo Kazooie <laughs> seems like just a fucking blast to play, and Hero. I don't. I have no idea. I just know that I really like that random magic thing. Of just uh, let's see what happens now. Boom. Yeah, I'm like them releasing Hero. Uh, 
just out of nowhere like they did kind of made me want to start playing Dragon Quest because that was another one of those games I never got yeah. into. And they had the Dragon Quest Eleven demo, so I downloaded that on my Switch. Mm-hmm. I'll be playing with that. It's one of those series that, like, I had I had a friend of mine that was really into. I mean, he was more into J and RJ RPGs than I was, and I played. Um, Golden Sun, uh, I think, on his Game Boy Advanced. Oh, Golden uh, Sun, man. It's a good, fucking, really good game. I'd never played any more than that. But he played, uh, he was a huge, big fan of Dragon Quest and everything. And I don't know, I was always kind of interested in those games, mostly because of the art style, since it's done by... Akira Toriyama. Uh, Akira Toriyama. Yeah, him and, uh, what's the other one he did? Um, oh, oh, fuck. I don't remember. Chrono Trigger. He yeah, also did the Chrono, Trigger, Chrono yeah. Trigger and, and Chrono Cross and the later ones. Yeah, so it was like, I kind of, and then I just never did because I'm just not a JRPG person. Um, right, no, I, I completely get that. Like, like I love JRPGs, but I think, um, I, I don't think I care for more modern ones. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what it is, but like, I can go back and play Final Fantasy X, for example. Or I can go back and play Final Fantasy IV. Or I can go back and play Secret of Mana or these other JRPGs like that. Um, but for some reason, I can't get myself into more modern ones. Mm-hmm. Like, Octopath Traveler is a great game. I just couldn't get myself invested in it. And so yeah. when Jake and Kelsey asked for it back, I'm like, here you go. Yeah. I hadn't played it. By the time they asked for it back, I had probably had it from them for almost a year. <laughs> and I probably hadn't touched it in four or five months. It's one of those games that's just... It's a, you have to really, really be into those because that game's yeah. massive, and it's very old school. Very, which I loved. I yeah. loved that part of it. By the way, I loved how old school it was, and I loved its battle system because it was really, really neat. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you if you act it correctly, you could prevent enemies from attacking you and stuff yeah. like that. I don't know. I I got I loved all of those aspects. I just couldn't I couldn't keep my focus on it. I couldn't mm-hmm. keep my focus into it. So I I kind of just stopped playing after a while. It's understandable. But I don't know. I'm done. I don't have anything more to say. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much pretty much it for me too. Uh, so you know, hope you guys enjoyed this. We talked about news of the stupids. We talked about some other <laughs> things. Gears Five. Go play it. You know, Luke likes it. I might play it. Probably won't though. You know, because I I don't do things very often. But I definitely am going to be playing Destiny too. Uh, Destiny 2, there was something else. Uh, I mean, the fact that it's releasing on Steam, I'll be honest yeah. with you, is really what makes me want to play it, because mm-hmm. I already have Steam. And 35 bucks, which is... I already have it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have it from... Humble Bundle. Humble yeah. Bundle gave it away, so I already got the base game and all the expansions up until the new one. Mm-hmm. So all I gotta do is which buy the new one. For me, for it being 35 bucks on Steam, yeah. and all the expansions, but the brand new one that's coming out. Right. Fuck yeah, I don't <clears> mind that. 35 bucks is not a not a bad deal for a game like that. Well, even even though I'm not a huge fan of spongy shooters, right. um, I can still like like I like I, I do like multiplayer games like this. Yeah. So yeah, co op games. Of right? course, my computer, my desktop is being a fucking son of a bitch. So, so we gotta fix it. I gotta yeah. fix it. Uh, thankfully, I got my laptop that I spent way too much money on. That's been done nothing but read pdfs for uh D D games but now i mean i'm okay. actually using it yeah for well, you, when you look games. at this one like this one started off as an eleven hundred dollar <laughs> like google sheets machine yeah exactly <laughs> you know and it's way more expensive than that but i didn't pay for it like you did so yeah. it's fine it's what happens it's like the kids who buy two thousand dollar macbooks to do facebook and youtube oh my god you that's know. hilarious but anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed that. If yep. you did, give us like, share, subscribe, comment. Mm-hmm. Give us some money on Patreon because we need it. We're if poor. you really love us, um, we'll love you forever. We will love you forever. We'll put you on our credits page and make fun of you. Mm-hmm. Um, but for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See you. Fuck yeah.